In this video, we're going to look at a particular scenario, and it's going to feel a little strange because we're not actually solving a second-order differential equation here. We're going to jump straight to its general solution. So we've got a particle being projected from a point O at time t equals zero, and it moves with simple harmonic motion, so sometimes it's abbreviated to SHM, with O as the centre of oscillation. Now, what that's telling me is that when t equals 0, x, the displacement, will be equal to 0 as well. Because it's starting from O, and that is the centre of oscillation. So when t equals 0, x equals 0. The motion has amplitude 6 metres, and the period is pi over 5 seconds. Part A, find the speed of projection. OK, so... We know that the general solution to our simple harmonic motion is x is equal to uh, a times sine of omega t plus epsilon, the phase shift. Now, if we have that t equals 0 when x equals 0, then if t is equal to 0, and we need x to be equal to 0, well, either the a is 0, which it's not going to be, because that would mean the amplitude is 0, and we know the amplitude is 6. So that means that epsilon has to be 0, sine of 0. OK? So that means, so therefore, epsilon is 0. And we know that because the amplitude is 6, that we must have x is equal to 6 sine of omega t, and that's it. But can we work out omega? Well, we know that the period is pi over 5 seconds. We know that the period has to be 2 pi over omega. And if that's equal to pi over 5, then that implies that omega has to be 10. So we have 6 sine of 10t. And this is the solution to the differential equation. So given that, now find the speed of projection. Now, here we've got the displacement of the particle. So the velocity of the particle would be dx by dt, or x dot. And that would be equal to 60 cosine of 10t. Now, when t is 0, x dot would be equal to 60 times cosine of 0. Cosine of 0 is 1, so we would have 60, and the units would be metres per second. OK. Then for part b... Find the time it takes uh, to first reach a distance of 3 metres from O. So we know that this is going to look something like that. Where that's T, this is X, and this is 6. So let's just get rid of that. And that's minus 6. So I'm interested in the time at which x is 3. So we're going to want 3 is equal to 6 sine of 10t. So sine of 10t has got to be equal to 1 half. So make sure your calculator is in radians when you do this. So inverse sine of 1 half is pi over 6. And then I'm going to divide that by 10 to apply the transformation. And we get pi over 60. So t is going to be equal to pi over 60. And that's going to be the first time at which we're 3 metres away from the origin, or from O. So I'm just going to convert that into decimal form. 
So 0.0524 seconds to three significant figures. Okay, and so this is a simple harmonic motion problem um, where there was no actual solving of a second order differential equation. We knew what the solution had to be. We knew the form given the information in the problem, and then I could be answered, I could be, sorry, I could answer questions based on that uh, as I needed to.